I need to leave now. I just read that. A little late, but I got to it. Listen, if I could run, I'd be out here in a jiff. No peanut butter. Yeah, I'm out here making jokes, and my, I'm in danger. Like that one meme. <laughs> I'm in danger. Ooh, what's going on? It's Johnny, and welcome to a place forbidden. Now, before we get in this game, okay? Uh, yeah, well, wait. Lover of your or Ouroboros, I'm finally here. It's almost anticlimactic to stand so easily within its walls after all the these years of searching. If the rumors are true, Lever contains knowledge beyond anything one might hope to find on Earth. I'm gonna read these as fast as possible. Words of power, occult learning, not to transcend death, it will be mine, all of it. Now, we're going to a library. The description says library, so my brain, I'm reading a lot, okay? So we gotta find some kind of book that's gonna have some power, so I, the person in the game, spitting everywhere because I'm getting excited, um, can get the power because I'm power hungry. Uh, books of philosophy, history, and a few stray encyclopedias. What did I say? Not useful. Okay, so we can go to the next, next, n next thing. Where's the people? Where is the rest of the librarians? Did they get eaten or eaten by some weird stuff? Okay, let's do this one. Few volumes of standard math and physics, but the rest of them far from obscure wings of science. Interesting, but not what I'm looking for. Okay, section contains mostly horror novels. How, how droll. They're not really using these big words, but I f they're using words I've never even... Like, I've used a couple here and there, but, like, I don't use them in my everyday sentences, so I don't really know what they mean. Novels. Science fiction and fantasy, as well as, as a few stray romance novels. Look here. A transcript. I've been having these nightmares. Doctor. Oh, okay. So, am I talk? Is this someone else? Is this someone else? I'm confused. Or is this an actual book? All right, so it's a transcript. So I'm thinking that someone and someone else writing it like a diary. I'm alone, but I don't feel alone. Not like I should. Rather, there's so there's no one with me. But that's not to say there's nothing around. It's difficult to explain, but it's uncomfortable feeling. Something drones low in the background of all the while choking. I can hear snatches of whispers, but only just barely. Like something is conversing with me just out of my ranges of hearing, just as something is watching just out of my sight range. Everything's too still. It's wrong. Got more pages, dude? I so said I guess we're in a library. It makes sense. I don't remember how I got here or got there. I can't figure out how to leave. Everything is all hallway open or upon hallways. I cannot read. Everything is I'm gonna restart. Let me just let me just give me a, give me a second. Let me just restart. I don't remember how I got there and I can't figure out how to leave. Everything is all hallways upon hallways. Shelves of books that look like they've never been opened. Almost all of them are still, and yet I get a feeling. Like I mustn't open any of them, whatever I do. There's a pull toward them, of course, the sense that I will learn more than I could ever hope to on Earth. But there's a danger, a vague creeping danger. The feeling that something is very, very interested in every move I make. Who or what it might be, I don't know. I don't know if it wants to bring me in or if it wants me to leave. How does it end? Well, as I mentioned, there's no real way to escape. Every place I go leads to more rooms. But eventually, after a time, I I don't really hear them so much as feel them. Look no further, look no further, look no further. And then I wake, and every time I feel further from this world. To be honest, Doctor, I hope it's all in my imagination. I hope I'm afflicted with some kind of mania. Because a place like that can't exist, shouldn't exist. And if it does, then I can only hope that no one else would be so unfortunate as to visit it. And here I am trying to come in this library and get all the power and it's gonna just leave me astray biographies i've heard of none of these people okay so i'm here looking for books that have power okay i've said like 17 times minister's room act three scene two um this looks like a, like a play i'm not gonna read the full the full thing because i don't think it really has anything to do with my mission uh, we're just kind of skim through it here. Goodness, that sounds dangerous. In the sun, but this is also a play, so I'm probably not. The run crosses the floor, leaves his item, turns to leave. Okay, not, not really too crazy. So that's that one. What's this one? A partial history of the library. Okay, this might be important. The library of Ouroboros. I can't, how do I say that? U U U Ouroboros? 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 I don't know. We're just gonna blank it. 
uh, wasn't so much built as it simply came to be. That much we've been able to glean from the early murky tales about a certain endless structure rich in occult knowledge. The first tale was penned by an unnamed Gaelic mystic who compiled a variety of accounts of travelers of plenty of strange dreams. Many of these travelers amounts to the place with the same endless hallways of strange materials. Magic devices seem to give off light or sounds without any visible source. But rarely were there are many tangible details aside from those characteristics in the front of the font of knowledge ringing the walls of the place. This of course changed <clears throat> in approximately 670 when the mystic was visited by a lone woman. She was reportedly wild-eyed, half mad, and complaining of dreams much the same as her fellow for her fellows, I can't read. But she claimed that these dreams became reality briefly, and that she at one point even visited the bleak place. She claimed to run into a dark, amorphous figure with a score of glowing red eyes. This figure apparently spoke to her, promising her black knowledge she should she should only pledge herself to it. Though the mystic asked how this woman escapes the place, the woman gave him no explanation. In fact, she spoke no further. I got to hiccup up. Uh, withdrawing from the mystic's hut, so to begin or to hunt. Oh my god, I cannot read, dude. I'm sorry, this has taken me forever. This paragraph's taken me 15 minutes. But drawing from the mystic's hut to begin her traveling anew, she was never seen or heard from again. That wasn't that difficult, was it? This testimony is hardly a concrete example of the library's existence, but it certainly makes no wonder, or one wonder, if tales like this could exist from the earliest days of modern man. What other truths could lie buried deep in the past? Should one be willing to tunnel through the cobwebs of years to reach the ancient tales of hidden beneath? I'm gonna throw up over here. Okay. Now is the partial history of the library. This is the library that we're in, if I had to guess. One more book. On the founder. Founder of this. Wait. I hear like whispers when I, when I, when I, Listen. Okay, so, okay. I hear whispers. Really faint, but it's there. On the founder, they came to the domain of blank canvas and the cost from places unknown in as old as time. They've existed longer than man, longer than the sentient stones of Ur, longer than the cosmic force that runs through the, all the things they've always been. They saw the ruin that coursed through the universe, the constant in and out flux of entropy, and with entropy went items of worth, and it was the worth that they thought they sought to salvage, not things, ideas, thoughts, power, and tangible through the years they reached for the powers were immense. There were eons, they snatched up secrets dark and light, but it wasn't long before it all became too much, even for those ancient. <sighs> okay, it's about torn out of the book, I got that. The key to go further could have been deciphered from the last word in each of these books, but I tore them out and I couldn't let anyone else go any deeper. Sorry, but they trust me, it's better than this way. As you close that book, you make a single word scratch not written, yada yada yada, telephone. Okay, clue is telephone. They gotta say, just say, look at telephone. That's all you gotta do. We don't gotta write a freaking novel about a telephone being the clue. Okay, this isn't Scooby Doo. We don't gotta figure shit out. Just put it down in the book and we'll go there. God. I'm just freaking, freaking out over here. Alright, I'm sorry. Doors are immobile. I can only imagine what strange arcane secrets lie behind the varnished surface. Okay, we can't go in here. There's a telephone right there, obviously. Keep that on. A phone. Do I call somebody? Do I call God himself? Do I call the devil? Do I, who, who do I call? I, I gotta call somebody, right? Can't do anything with it. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, jinkies? Okay, got a clue. That, must, that, that was probably a key. Welcome message. From all our staff, welcome. We're glad you're here, uh, as we're sure you're aware of the library of, of Euroboros. Is located in a uh, picturesque part of Britain, so atop of the grassy knoll east of Sussex. Many rural townships obviously bear it, are bereft of their own libraries or further their own their villagers to the library is beloved by all. Yada 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 yada. You'll certainly have enough time, Bernard. You'll certainly have enough time. You'll certainly have time enough. I can't read, dude. I swear. We got a key though. Picked up the copper key. Our key seems important, so I'm gonna guess it opens this door. Uh, I thought maybe it'd be that door. I didn't even try, I don't think. So, right? If I did, I don't remember, and that was like literally four seconds ago, but I can't help it because my brain don't work like that. Okay? Styes, it was mistaken in the library when in England I found in the German study of Olberg sequestered or away behind something. Such a small, assuming front, a front. It's about looking so plain it might hide from the rest of the world.
The guy's thoughts. All right. Keep that on. Got more books here. And again, I'm not reading. I'm done reading. I read too much. Like, I, I, I read in real life, but like... Video games, man. It's a chore sometimes. All right, we got uh, three books here. Can't read any of those. All right, we got these bookshelves here, but they're super empty. One, two, three, four, five. And three. I guess I can't read any of these. Okay. What's this? Okay. Wait a second. Is it really... Okay. I, I see what you're doing here. It's a puzzle. And guess what, game? I'm way ahead of you. I've been doing puzzles for years, okay? I'm so ahead of you. Watch this crap. The note here. I can read it, obviously. I have a reader, aren't you, Bernard? Duh. I've been reading for days. You can't read these books, but don't fret. They'll pave your road to new knowledge. If you're stuck, think of yourself like a cataloger or a librarian. It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The case toward the window seemed as good as a place any to start. Windows. Wasn't any windows that way, so I'm guessing it is this way. And I'm right. No case, though. What's that? Pretty much seen there was no fog outside earlier. Okay. Okay, so there's uh, more books here. Can't read it, but I'm guessing it said the case is a good place to start. Right? I'm putting the, I'm putting the puzzle together, okay? And... The puzzle is actually a big puzzle, and it's mostly already scattered and put together. I just gotta fill the last few pieces in. Now the, the, the bookcase near the windows is this one. One, two, three, four. Okay? Next one. One, two, three, six. Yep, I, I skipped a few numbers. That's how good I, I am at math. One, two, three, four, five. Four, six, five, three. Four, six, five, three. Got it. This is a knit that I am stuck. Four, six, five, three. How does it feel to, to watch a genius at hand? How does it feel? Does it feel good? Because I, I feel great. Okay, I got a key, I think is what it said. I can't jump, so I'm guessing that's not it. There's a, definitely a door um, over here. Man, we're just, I'm a, should I become a detective? Because I feel like I could do it. Flashlight. I, guess, I didn't even know how we had a flashlight. I had no idea. I just kind of hit F as soon as it became dark. Ah, uh, game's getting a little creepy now. Game's getting a little creepy. I don't like the creepiness. I don't like it. What? Close this door. I actually, keep that open because it's whispers and I don't like it. Picked up a screwdriver. I don't know what I need a screwdriver for. Are the boards maybe? I'm a freaking genius! Oh, we can, we, we can open these. Is there something in here? I can't jump, so I'm guessing there's something in the top ones. I'm guessing we don't need to, uh... Open them. Okay, there's nothing in here, nothing in there. Okay, I think, I think we figured it out. I think I had to get the screwdriver to open the boards up. Into which we accomplished. Hello? Okay, like, here's the thing, right? I'm just going to just throw this out here, right? We all want power. We all want money. We all want the things, right? But I'm not going to a random library and dealing with it. I didn't freaking there's earthquakes from demons. They're coming from the hell. Something is wrong. Dude, I, we know. The freaking entire of the house is shaking. It's on freaking stilts right now. I need to leave now. I just read that. A little late, but I got to it. Listen, if I could run, I'd be out here in a jiff. No peanut butter. Yeah, I'm out here making jokes, and my, I'm in danger. Like that one meme. <laughs> I'm in danger. Hey. Why are you making fun of me? Okay. I'm Bernard. You know why? Because I read fast. I figure I figure puzzles out quick. That's me. I'm like the full Scooby-Doo gang in one. 
Okay? I'm guessing this is the end of the game, right? This is just a demo to get your game going? Listen. Can we stop putting demos out? Can that be a thing? Can you just release the game and then we'll figure it out if we like it after? I get we gotta have teasers, but like, ah, you know? It's good. This is a good game. A lot of reading that I probably didn't need to read, but I did it anyway because it needs backstory. But I just feel like we could just bypass the whole teaser thing and just go straight to game. And also, when you get a game nowadays, like, I got the new Call of Duty, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and vent real quick. If you're here for this, let me know in the comments. Because I'm gonna vent and I want you to know if you feel the same way. When you buy a game nowadays, it's not the full game. You gotta pay the full game price of $60 plus tax, so it's $65. And then you have to pay the season pass of like $10 to $50 or whatever. And it gives you the content that would have been in the main game that you paid $65 for. So now I'm paying $90 or $100. Why and how did we get here? Is it because I'm, is it because I'm buying the season pass? So they're like, oh, it's extra money? I guess it's a, from a business standpoint, it makes sense, but I'm mad about it. And we need to move past it because it sucks. That's it. All right. This was a place forbidden. If you guys enjoyed it and you guys liked my little vent there, I apologize. But listen, I'm just tired of these games doing this, okay? Itch.io, I get it because it's free and there's, there's any devs that put a lot of heart and soul in these little games and they really need to do this to kind of take their career off. So I get it. I'm here for it. And it, it, it played well. So... Off my hats are off to ya. Bonza Bonzai Bonsai Bonsai. Busted keyboards, whatever. Whatever your name wanna be is. It's great. I liked it. So uh if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe to your friends. Always because I'm Johnny and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh we're gonna try to find something else to play as a series. We just finished Terminator, so if you guys haven't seen that, definitely check the playlist out. There's ten episodes and we beat it. So uh, go check that out and yeah, see you guys in the next video.